Hey guys, how are you? So Ubuntu 21.04 is here and it's time to review it. So I've downloaded the latest version of Ubuntu 21.04 and I'm going to provide you a review of this version. So we are here and I have just booted up my virtual machine using the latest disk. So you can see in my optical drive I have Ubuntu 21.04 which is for 64-bit PC. Now this version the installer looks same as before the upgraded one for 20.04 and I'm going to install Ubuntu and hopefully uh, all the you can say steps would be same as previous version. Minimal installation, no need to download and just continue. Oh, my virtual machine is only for 2 GB RAM so I would just check for the performance how quick it is in case of uh, the minimal installation which should be very uh, light in size I would say okay so just go for let me check for the advanced feature as well okay use LVM with the new Ubuntu installation it is this use ZFS oh no I would just go for none and just click on install now so this is the basic you can say a very minimized version of installation wizard very easy to install whether you are a newbie or whether you are an expert in using Ubuntu for quite a long time I'll just put it my name and just sample password and I think in the oh the option is for use active directory I forgot to mention that this feature 21.04 has an option uh, integrated with Microsoft Active Directory which is as per their uh, latest uh, you can say announcement they have support for Active Directory integration and also they are working with Microsoft for uh, the Microsoft SQL and that is a good news that both uh, Microsoft and Canonical are working and improving Linux specifically Ubuntu so as they mentioned that support of Microsoft SQL Server is, will be improved in coming release. So this is quite fast and is copying it in a lightning fast way. So let me see how much time will it take. Oh, it took around 2 to 3 minutes now and it's almost 60% done with a 2 GB RAM virtual machine. So I think it is better than 20.04 because when I was installing 20.04 in a similar configuration it took a bit of much time okay it has copied the files now it's going to install the system one thing to notice is that uh, I've selected for do not download any files but you would see that it's still retrieving some files over the internet and it takes some time for it to install I'm not sure which files these are so in case you did not do not select for retrieving files from the internet or you can say doing a software upgrade it will still retrieve files from the internet now running update grub and I think it will be done in a few moments okay it's installed now so I will give it a restart and let's boot up the install system okay so let us log in and we'll see so it is uh, the interface is on Wayland. As soon as you log in, you get this uh, pop up to connect your online account. So I will just skip it. Not required to send any legal or you can say usage report and no access to the location services. So this is I'm seeing it the first time in 21.04 and I would just say no and then there are option to install some softwares which are recommended so I'll just press done let me just install the guest edition CD so that the so as to improve the resolution so it's only a few moments and I have uh, updated software as well so let's see 
There's 6 KB of Ubuntu base. There's around 706 KB of total files. Let's see what are these software updates. So this is pretty good. Uh, I just uh, it's not even a single day since the version is released and still we have an update. Let me just install it. It's only 706 KB. Now I'll just press enter to close it. Let me see if the issue is fixed. Not yet. I need to restart. So let me restart it and I will get back to you. So after installing the uh, guest edition, uh, it's now in good resolution. I will just show you the settings here. The UI is pretty smooth, just like in 20.04. Windowing system is uh, Wayland. It's using Genome 3.38.5. OS name is Ubuntu 21.04. So options are similar to 20.04. You have background of Hippo here in this version. You can customize the appearance to dark. I prefer the dark one. And then you have the notification manager. Search options in the application drawer. Uh, the privacy settings. So Okay, connectivity checking. Uh, sorry, connectivity checking. They have introduced, I think, in this version. Location services, Thunderbolt, file history and trash, screen lock. So they have this privacy setting. So this privacy setting. I don't remember if that was in 20.04. You can connect your online accounts. You can have sharing option. Okay. And you have sound settings, power, displays, mouse and touchpad. Let me try to connect my Wacom tablet as well and see how it responds. There would be some improvements. Oh, I didn't see this set before. I had only open in terminal in the previous version. Change background when you right click. Display settings and then settings. So this is I think improved. And let's see if an Ubuntu software center, what are the newer. Okay, so this is the software center. We have the software. Let me just install. Okay. There's one more update. I don't know what are they doing. <laughs> I'm getting updates again and again. Okay. Let me just have my VCOM connected to this. It's connected. We go to settings and see if it is able to recognize my Wacom okay it has recognized my Wacom so this is good this is perfect so this is pretty good I would recommend you to download it and use it and cheers for Ubuntu 21.04. Thanks for watching this video. Please provide your feedback as well.